Now I want to transition and talk about IE9. Steve mentioned earlier, announced that we will have support for Internet Explorer 9 on Windows Phone in our update release later this year. And I want to give you a look at that code. But before I show you IE9 running on the phone, I want to give you and some, some information about IE9 on the PC. Um, as Steve mentioned, IE9's been doing lots of releases on the web for people to download and try out, and they had their release candidate earlier this week. There are two very significant things about IE9 that make it a big step forward for us. One is it has fantastic standard support. It supports HTML5 and lots of HTML5's richness, Canvas, SVG. It has great CSS support. And secondly, it does that standard support in a way that takes great advantage of powerful graphics hardware. So far, you've seen that on the PC. And what you're about to see is that same hardware acceleration taking place on the phone. Now, I want to give you an example of just how significant that graphics hardware acceleration is by showing you a video of IE9 running on the PC with some side-by-side -side comparisons of other modern web browsers. So let's start the video and take a look at IE9 on the PC. So the first thing you see here is our IE, our Fish IE page, where you see the Fish web page being shown in IE versus Firefox. Now, a bunch of these other examples are web pages that use hardware acceleration to really give an incredibly smooth end user experience. I'm going to get ready with the next demo here while this video plays out. OK. So, so that's a quick look at IE9 and how hardware acceleration really takes advantage of the full capabilities of the PC to make, make web pages look great. And what we've just switched to here is IE9 running on Windows Phone. Now, there's a really important point here, which is that the core browsing engine of IE9 that ships on PCs is the same core browsing engine that will ship on phones. And that's great news for consumers, because it means they'll get a great smooth experience like you see on Fish IE here. It's also great news for developers, because it means when website developers create a site, if it works well on the PC, it'll work well on Windows Phone as well. And I want to give you a little bit of a comparative example. This is the Fish IE page, same page you saw in the video on the desktop, except modified for a phone screen. Other than that, same idea. This is running 50 Fish. And I want to show you how much this hardware acceleration really matters. I'm going to pull this down, and by way of comparison, I've got an iPhone 4 here running the current build of Safari. And the Safari web browser is not taking advantage of hardware acceleration, so you really get a sense for how dramatic the difference is when we use the full power and capability of the device. You saw it on the PC, you've tried it yourself if you've downloaded IE9, and now you can see the difference on the phone. So that is a first real-world example of the performance difference.